So today we will be looking into the internal parts of the chicken. We will try to complete most of the parts. So first I would like to show you the respiratory system. Air enters through the nostrils which we can see here which is present in the beak itself on both the sides. Later it passes through the pharynx and it enters the larynx which is what we see this structure as a whole is called the larynx. Then the air passes through the trachea. This is the trachea that we have. The air that enters the syrinx, the voice box of the chicken, it later flows through the air sacs present, which later transports the air into the lungs. As you can see here, the lungs are light pinkish in color. It is spongy in appearance and you can hear crepitating sounds when you press them. Next thing uh, system we'll look into is the digestive system. The food which the cock eats enters through the mouth cavity and later it passes through the esophagus. This tube that we can see here is called as the esophagus. It starts from here and ends just before it enters the stomach. And this prominent part that you can see here is known as the crop. The region before the crop is known as the pre-crop region and the esophagus after the crop and before the uh, stomach starts is known as the post-crop region. In of chicken we have got two stomachs. The first one is this which we see here and this one is known as the proventricular stomach or the glandular stomach. And the later one which we have here is known as the gizzard or also called as the muscular stomach. The gizzard has got all the types of grits and stone which the chicken eats along with its food and it helps in grinding the food more uh, properly. Whereas the in the proventriculus digestive juices are secreted which softens whatever food it eats. The food which is digested which comes out of the gizzard and thus this loops of intestine. Now as we know the intestine can be classified into small intestine as well as the large intestine. Here we can clearly see the mesentery and we can also see the blood vessels which supply uh, the, to the intestine. So next we will be looking into small intestine which starts just below the gizzard and it extends and ends at the point just before the cecum starts. The first part of the small intestine is known as the duodenum. Duodenum is found as a U-shaped loop. And the structure that we can find here between the loop is nothing else but pancreas which secretes juices which helps in the digestion. Next part of the small intestine is the jejunum. Jejunum as you can see is a supercoiled structure. It later extends into this straight intestine which is known as the ileum. After the ileum we have the start of of the large intestine. The first part of the large intestine are these two prominent lateral structures that we find here, the blind sacs known as the cecum. Similarly, they are called cecum. It is here where all the bacterial digestion of the fodder occurs and the water absorption takes place at its maximum. The food later passes to the rest part of the large intestine and reaches the cloaca and finally it passes out through the external opening called as the vent or anal opening. The cloaca has a common opening to three systems namely the reproductive system, the urinary system and the digestive system. Here what we see is the heart and what we have 
here is the liver in case of chicken the liver has two lobes as we can see here clearly and beneath it we can find a green sac and this is nothing else but the gallbladder and beside it we can see a round structure and this is known as the spleen can see here the two white structures is nothing else but its testis and the one which we see down beneath here extending this much on both the sides which is brown in color is nothing else but the kidney we are at the end of the video please do like share comment and subscribe thank you